Hello, this is Chuck. We are back again with another set of Sherlock Holmes, The Secrets of the Silver Earring. And I had to look ahead and figure out what exactly I was supposed to do. So I wasn't aware that outside, uh, sorry, outside, inside, outside, inside. Sherlock Watson, Sherlock Watson. So let's have a checkup with Watson. Here now, watch your step. If you're a reporter, there'd better be a doctor nearby, because when I get done with you, you'll need one. Look here, my good man. I am a doctor. Dr. Watson, in fact. And believe me... Dr. Watson? Hold on. Are you the Dr. Watson who writes about all those cases solved by Sherlock Holmes? Oh, I've read all your adventures. Who are you? My name is Lamb, Governor. I'm Sir Bromsby's coachman. Tell me... Is he really that clever, this Sherlock Holmes? Look sharp, Lamb. Sherlock Holmes and I require your able assistance. No doubt. Stand firm at the private entrance and make sure no one enters or leaves until Holmes or myself returns. My pleasure, Dr. Watson. You tell Mr. Holmes that if anybody even steps on the lawn, they'll have to deal with Lamb. And I can tell you, there are few bold enough to dare my fists. This door is blocked. That gate is the only way in or out of here, Dr. Watson. I've already secured the other door on orders of Miss Lambert to avoid them nosy reporters. If anyone tries to make a break through the garden, they won't get past me. I leave you, Lamb. Right. I'll stand guard. Okay. So, yay, we can go outside. Um... And I know that there's more people here, and I have no idea, like, this is the only conversation that I have to look ahead at. But let's go talk to people. Miss Lambert, I have been looking for you. What a tragedy. Simply dreadful. Can't believe what they're saying about Miss Lavinia. Why did you open the gate so hastily? I was so upset. I know now it was imprudent. I should have waited until the authorities arrived, but... Some of those gentlemen were so loudly insistent that I yielded. Have you informed the police? The village constable attended the reception. He left on his bicycle. I assumed to inform the proper authorities. He told me that an inspector from Scotland Yard was already in the area, on official business. I know nothing about the nature of his business, but I was told he should arrive soon. What sort of man was your employer? Oh, he was a great man. The people of the hall considered him to be very strict, but I think it was just his way of showing a fatherly attitude. And he dreamed of this day when Miss Lavinia would return. You have a list of guests. Oh, of course. I have a complete guest list for the reception. It's inside the dining room. I believe the police will have need of it. Well, nevertheless, I must first caution them to pay little heed to the notations I made regarding certain names. Why were these notations made? Their purpose was to note particular seating arrangements for the meal and the recital, according to specific concerns. Those individuals whom I considered to be very important were marked with a circle. What about the other odd marks? Louis-Philippe, uh, I mean Monsieur de la Mazardière, suggested this method of arranging the seating. He also advised me that those guests with poor eyesight and hearing should be seated so that the acoustics and lighting in their room would favour their enjoyment of the recital. So the first category was marked with a point, the second with a cross. What do you know about this Frenchman? He is from a noble family, but found himself forced to seek a vocation as a head waiter. He is so inspired and keenly sensitive to the details at first, I was afraid that Sir Bronsby would take offence with his suggestions, but he had moderated his opinions regarding French culture due to the influence of his friend, Horace Fowlett. What did he do that was so extraordinary? His assistance was invaluable. He took such concerns with every little detail. The dishes, the tablecloths, everything. He not only declined an offer of lodging here at the hall, he also deferred his wages until the end of the reception. Oh, I would be so glad if he were here now. And where has he gone? He had pressing business in London. In fact, he found it necessary to visit his Harley Street physician. 
It seems his glasses were no longer helping with his eyesight. You have been very kind, Miss Lambert. You are most welcome. Oh, what a tragedy. Okay, um, I can have a look at this. So, thank you. Have I read this? Please allow me. Oh, okay, this is the letter at the beginning of this game. Here is the program. This is a Sabrombi speech. Acknowledge if noble persons is present. Do not forget to acknowledge them. You welcome your daughter. You then invite her to the en to enter the ball to the hall to the ball hall to the ball whatever. When she is on the stage, you make your speech for the journalists. Don't forget the villager and the serpent. Shooting at pigeons isn't mentioned in program. Miss Lambert added at the last moment. Don't forget to mention this. And here's our guest list. So I believe she said. Crosses as either poor eyesight or hard of hearing. The circles are very important. And then I'm seeming these shaded circles. Let's see. Okay. Well, can't remember. So, let's just go away and uh, talk to more people. I completely forgot to set my timer, so... For all I know, this could be well ahead of... over time. Hello! Please excuse me. I'm investigating the murder that has just happened. Oh yes, well, that is good. What would you like to know? Okay. Where were you at the moment when Sir Bromsby was killed? I was near the stage, and I saw him falling. Oh, my goodness. It was terrifying. I ran for the door, but despite all my efforts, it was blocked. But your costume is torn. How did this happen? When I was trying to open the door, the crowd dragged me away. I then fell to the floor. I fortunately suffered no harm. But when I arose, my beautiful costume was ripped and stained. Well, I won't disturb you any more. Yes, no, th fine, th thanks. Okay, that was very odd. Excuse me, may I speak with you? Yeah, your servant, sir. Are you one of the domestics employed by the hall? No, I am the personal servant to old Satterthwaite. <laughs> he is there, sitting on that bench... He seems right enough, but he refused a small drink for his health. Surely he cannot be well. Tell me, what have you seen? I heard the shot, then such a strange noise. And the next thing I know, all those money bags are running in a mad rush with their wives or whatever. Thank you for your help. My pleasure. Okay. And you, what are you doing here? I'm waiting for Miss Roundtree, the niece of that banker chap. She is inconsolable, all because her admirer of a mere three days' acquaintance had already abandoned her. Nothing unusual about that. There is no worse tempered female than this girl. Well, maybe other than my wife. <coughs> I love the text, <laughs> You heard the shot? I just left to relieve myself there at the end of the garden, you see. Seems to me I missed a good race for the doors. Worthy of the Royal Derby. Well, good. Cheers. Well, my good man, why are you here? I am <coughs> the manservant of Lieutenant Harrington. I ac <coughs> accompanied him with the old general <coughs> of the infantry or whatever. I seem to have drunk too much. <coughs> Did you hear the shot? What shot? Oh, the shot. <coughs> Great reception, isn't it? <coughs> okay. Uh, I have to go. Are you all right? Very good. 
Bye, madam. <laughs> okay. So he is drunk beyond all belief. Um, <laughs> now we have these ladies over here. Whoa, you are floating on air now. Are you a relative of the victim? <laughs> no. In truth, I always mocked Sir Bromsby. I am upset because my friend did not arrive as... <laughs> ...promised. As beautiful as she is cruel, apparently. Okay. Do you work here, miss? Yes, my name is Sue. I am a maid for the hall. Where were you when these tragic events took place? I was serving when it happened. I ran straight for the door, just like the others. I swear his daughter must have done it. She's such a strange one. Thank you, miss. We may talk with you again. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I have questioned everyone here. I'll go see if Holmes has finished on his end. Okay. Uh, do we go outside then? Uh, I don't know which way is which. It is not the time to join, Watson. I have not examined everything. Uh, what is there more to examine? Sir? Thank you for your help. My pleasure, sir. Okay, um, either way, so our guest list. Miss Roundtree. I'm not sure if any of these things are going to be coming into effect. It's the doctor. Brent Sweeney, Herman Grimble, Lieutenant Harrington, Colonel Pat Patterson. Sweeney is important. Uh, anyone else? Patterson. <laughs> hard of seeing and hard of hearing. Okay. Um, okay, so we can't switch anymore, so it really is just up to Holmes. The question is, what left is there to do? Can I be useful to you? Thank you for your help. It was not a problem. Can't really investigate these two things. Can we look close at that? No. Huh. So here's the trouble I'm having is I'm not sure what else more is there to do inside here. Is there something else, sir? All right. You may take or leave. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so Watson for sure is we're completely done with him. Um, but that was easy because all I had to do was question people. Making sure to check over that there is no one. No way. I mean, what do we have here? We have black hair, red hair. I don't even know what the guy looks like. I can't remember where the black hair come from, came from, or you know, the red hair either. Train and ship tickets from Geneva to London. Geneva to London. Geneva to London. That would be. Would that be the French guy? Is there any news, Mr. Holmes? 
We have found Sir Bromsby's speech. There's something quite puzzling about it. Ah, you talk about the notes that I left for him. Sir Bromsby always improvised his speeches in public as well as in business. Nevertheless, it was still necessary to remind him about particular points. So I sometimes made notes for him on a sheet of paper. Hold on, he must have made that odd notation himself. It says something about a peasant and a snake. What could it mean? Okay, must have missed that somehow. Thank you very much. I am at your disposal. I beg you. Okay, so she's the one to talk. Um, see, I guess is there more I can talk with other people? See if I missed anything. What more questions? Well, thank you very much. It is nothing, dear fellow. Mm -hmm. Doctor, what can you tell me? Sir? Absolutely Thanks, nothing. Thanks, Doctor. Never mind. Okay. Any more questions? Thank you, Mary. Not to worry, sir. Oh, no. Come on. It's, a. Uh... am assuming... Are these our clues? So it says, In the staircase room, blue tablecloths found in a drawer. They are shorter than the white ones found in the ballroom. Sherrington Hall. Uh, Sherring Ford, Ford Hall. In the quarter of the stairs, Miss Lavini... Lavinia's bag, handbag found the floor. In it were train and boat tickets from Geneva to London, Miss Lavinia's passport, and a right revolver of small caliber. In the ladies' room, traces of round object preserved in white powder. In a quarter to the kitchen, there's the smell of gunpowder. I really am at a loss. What more questions would I have? That would exit out into the hall, I believe. It is not the time to join, Watson. I have not examined everything. I feel like you have. What more is there to examine? I must be missing something. No! Handsome armor. Can we look at it? Handsome armor. Okay. Uh, can we take Handsome it? armor. Um, test too bit? Handsome armor. White powder. Handsome armor. Yeah. Handsome armor. Seriously, I don't get what I'm supposed to be doing here. Handsome armor. Oh! Here I thought I was this just black thinking. cloth is large enough to conceal a person. Black sheet. Can we look at this black sheet any further? I don't know what you can or can't do in this game, so... Finding out now. Are we good and done yet? It is not the time to join, Watson. I have not examined everything. Okay. Well, since we have a new object, there is... Uh, clearly maybe something we can ask of people. The question is, who? Yes. 
I will let you get back to your work. All right. Good night, sir. You too. And your disattached feet. So this is where the smell of gunpowder is. Young man? Thank you for this information, sir. Colonel to you. Okay. Come on, someone else Can has I something be used to say. Thank nope. you for your... It was not... Okay, good to know. I can make things go faster if I just click on a text. Uh, sir? Nothing. Thank you. Uh, my place. Okay. Is there any way to walk past this guy? No. You need a running. Of course, the gentlemen don't run, do they? Is there something else? All right. You may. Good evening, sir. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Come on. There is the walking sign. There is. There it is. What more quest? Well, thank. It is not. Mm hmm. <laughs> sir. Thanks, Doctor. Never mind. Is there any? Nope. Thank you very. I am at you. And she probably doesn't want to talk. I thank you. Yes, you can't. Your senses are too delicate. I nope. Didn't want to. Walk away. Thank you. Is there anything we can touch, grab, take away? That poker, that thing, no? Oh, hello, pork, pig. Okay, well, I'm gonna end the set here because I don't know how much time is actually left. So, I'm gonna go look ahead, see what else is there to do, and then I'll be back. So, Shoot, shouldn't have talked to Any her. More Until next time, guys. Thank you. Not to See ya.